Alright YouTube, so today I'm going to be showing off a piece of software that is just incredible. I mean, this is some fancy software. So, a lot of you may or may not know I am a Xbox 360 owner and a PS3 owner, so therefore I want to have a media center in my living room. So, I'm because I'm a Mac user, neither the PS3 nor the Xbox 360 will work with the Mac. So, I've taken the time and I've purchased a little piece of software called Parallels Desktop. And here it is. Basically what Parallels Desktop allows me to uh, just run Windows Vista or whatever operating system I choose. I'm running Vista Home Premium right now. So, yeah. Now, one of my favorite features in Parallels Desktop is Coherence Mode. And what that will do is it moves the Windows taskbar right down here, which allows me to run both Windows apps and Mac apps right on top of each other. So I'll go ahead and I'll demonstrate that. I'll open up Safari. Alright, and I will open up Windows Media Player. And you can actually have Windows apps right in your dock, it will just give you a little parallels icon also. So media player is opening up. And there you see I have both Mac software and Windows software running on top of each other. Now one thing I don't know it I don't really care for I'm trying to decide what I want to do. What's this is you can either keep the taskbar here or you can uh, m take the taskbar out, so you just have your dock. And one thing I don't really like about this is you don't get much of a height, long, tall viewing area. It's more of a wide. Because if you look at this, you got this on top, and then you have that down there. So if you want to hide your taskbar, go ahead and go up to Parallels Desktop, and go to View, and go to Customize, and then for Coherence. You can click show or view or show, I'll check that, and then the taskbar will disappear. Now without that taskbar, how do you start all your Windows applications? Well, you can either have them in your dock right here, or you can go right over here to your panel desktop tab, click that, and that's your start button. I think I'm going to do this. Now one thing you need to do, uh, if you want to do this, or all your or it will be like you have the dock right here or the taskbar right there when you don't. But you need to first uh, make the dock hide itself. So we, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to open up the hold on let me get parallel desktop. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to view the OS window and then I'm going to tell the dock to hide itself. That way when I open a Windows application it takes up the whole screen. Auto hide dock. Okay. Now I'm gonna go back to coherence. And there we go. So I'm can go ahead and maximize Safari. And there you have it. There are some features in Parallels Desk. Now I'm gonna actually go ahead and open up Windows Media Player. Oh, I haven't even opened up my Xbox since I got it from the repair center last time, so I don't even know if it works yet. Uh, excuse me for a minute. Actually, I'll let my sister get it. So, I'm going to go to media sharing. And there's my PC. So I've allowed to view my PC, to view my files. Um, I'll actually do another video of the Xbox 360 and this. So, thanks for watching.